Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the 28th of February 2024. My ancestors once again have called for the Heaven and Earth Tarot. So this is the deck we'll be using once again. Let's go ahead and see how your day's going to go. All your cards out on the table. We have uh, two aces, four major arcanas, and we have 777 as a synchronicity that is showing up for you today. Let's go ahead and get into the best part of your day. We have the Two of Cups, the King of Wands in the reverse, the Ace of Wands in the reverse. King of Pentacles in the reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups in the reverse, the Magician in the reverse, hmm. okay. Okay, in a way, persistence does pay off. Uh, also, when you try to accomplish something, you try to tackle something, sometimes it's all about what hard work you're willing to put in. Or are you willing to persist in it? Are you willing to work on it? Even if what you, how you're working on it or um, where you're working on a certain aspect is wrong, are you willing to continue the endeavor until it works. Um, in this case, because you haven't left something alone, instead you've been uh, working on it, even if it hasn't burned fruit yet, it hasn't gotten um, the outcome, the results that you wanted, whether that is a delay, more obstacles, or perhaps something you've slowly worked on over time. The good news is you're now, after perseverance, making the right connections. You're getting into the flow of things. Whereas before, uh, you worked to no avail or you picked it up, you dropped it, you picked it up, you dropped it. Hmm. Okay. So persistence actually does pay off. I wouldn't outright say a breakthrough moment. I'm not saying this is something sudden. It doesn't feel sudden. It feels more like we're just utilizing the right pieces, the right connections, and moving at a flow state that we're going to actually start to see progress, which is fabulous. So, um, the worst part of our day, we start off with the Four of Swords. And then the Four of Cups in the reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Devil in the reverse. Hmm. Mental discipline is not going to be easy. In fact, um, slowing your mental state so you can see clearly, focus, and make more wiser decisions is going to be um, a little bit uh, difficult. Not that you can't get clear, it's just slowing yourself down enough to get clear, to be clear, and see things clearly is kind of key. Because clarity without um, timing to execute can lead to bad decisions, rash decisions. Um, it's the jumping the gun energy, and uh, that is something to avoid. 
we'll see if it shows up in your obstacle or how to get over your obstacle but I'm hoping that um, that does not show up we'll see all right we start off with the a nine of swords the eight of swords reversed oh yeah that's another synchronicity 888 hmm the Ace of Swords reversed. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. The Four of Pentacles. Four, four, four. Okay, you're going to want me to hit these as they come out then. The uh, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Gotta love it when they do that. I don't see them all when they come out, so they usually get me when I'm reading it. The Chariot. The Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles reversed, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords reversed, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, the Seven of Wands reversed, the Knight of Cups, and we end on the full. Okay. <laughs> oh, you might actually have been so un focused or lacking clarity that you entered an analysis paralysis mode. And it's not that you actually um, were doing anything wrong. It's more like maybe you put limits on it. Round and around you go mentally. Um, and when you get that energy, yes, you can't see clearly. Um, and simply because you can't grasp what you actually need to do. Um, We've all had days like that where we're all scatterbrained. We're here, we're over there, and the next second we're onto something else. Hmm. But really, when it comes to at getting the best progress, best success, we have to reevaluate what do we have? What are we not utilizing? What's at our disposal? You know, what's our strong points? because that's going to be the um, clincher. <laughs> okay. Yes, that does mean uh, probably coming outside of a comfort zone. Um, or in this case, uh, switching tactics and thinking outside the box. Okay, uh, you actually might end up having to do a little bit of a daydreaming, daydreaming, um, to get that new approach, to get that new start, to find what it is that you're missing. The clincher, okay. That thing that you couldn't grasp before, that, that little nuance that was like just out of reach that literally might have been agonizing for you. Okay. Which is fine, because I've experienced that, especially when I can't get into a flow state um, when reading. Uh, it can be quite painful. Sometimes what you know you have to do is meditate or go do something else for a while, focus elsewhere. Um, and that's kind of the same aspect here. Oh. Okay, well that's an interesting way of getting out, uh, daydreaming. So we're looking at creative energies, trying to get the creative juices flowing, trying to, you know, be practical, yes, about what we currently have, but it's also brainstorming and getting creative on, okay, here's the pieces that I've got, what can I do with them? 
the out of the box thinking. So when we start uh, daydreaming, when we start um, thinking outside the box, we enter that flow state. We're trying to make connections in a unique way, a different way. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I'm still amused that they wanted me to do the synchronicities um, as is. Uh, 777 was the one they pointed out beforehand. But yes, we have the 444 and the 888. I did add up all your cards for the sake of numerology. Everything here adds up to 115, which is another 7, which is the mind and creativity. Yes. Um, slowing your thought process, being mentally disciplined, um, using your mind as a problem solving mechanism, brainstorming, daydreaming, trying to get creative. Very much the energy here. Hmm. And for those of you that do like the astrology, if I remember right, there's tons of placements today, so bear with me. The Sun in Pisces conjuncts Mercury in Pisces. Ideas flow. Communication can be easy. Revolt results of something you started two months ago. Um, you may actually see that. And can lead to new plans. Mercury in Pisces conjuncts Saturn in Pisces. Mental energy can be disciplined. You can focus on new goals, long-term plans, and take the practical approach. You can be detailed and attentive. The Sun in Pisces conjuncts Saturn in Pisces. So activity can be disciplined and smart. You can work towards goals, uh, feel more ambitious, you can make progress with what you've done. And in other words, also finding your, your clincher, your missing pieces. The moon also enters Scorpio. You can research, investigate, and find everything you need to know. And of course, once you know that, it helps you make progress. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Hopefully this resonated for you, and if it does, uh, by all means, give me a big thumbs up. It's a quick way to let me know that you resonate with the reading. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.